Okay, and then we need to bleed this our brake caliper system. And what we need first is that we need eight eight millimeter socket for fits in this bleeding bolt. And we open firstly a little bit that bleeding bolt. This is in here, and this socket fits in there. And I open that little bit, and then we need specific this uh, plastic hose what goes in this nose and you will get that uh, this plastic hose in every car dealer ship and spare part shop and then I use I have in here bottle what is full of this uh, brake fluid or water water is also fine normal water an idea is that this must be full of this water in that way and I insert that my uh, bleeding this nose and pipe in here and then when this thing is in that position we need to go then to press this our cars inside areas break break this uh, pedal and let's go to do that next but before of that we need to check that we have enough this brake fluid in our this canister what is in here and let's check this is brake fluid and this must be full and as I have I have it's quite empty and I need to add in there more this dot five or four lever brake fluid Okay, I will do that next. I add it. Okay, and now I have add this brake fluid, and then please be sure all time that this must be all time full, because now when we start to press this brake pedal, this canister becomes very soon empty, and we need to add this brake fluid many times. When we, when we are pleading these uh, brake calibers. Okay, remember that. Remember to add more brake fluid within one minute. Okay, then we go to look this brake pedal area. Okay, and now we are in this brake pedal area, what is in there. And then I start to, to press, I, I had this long wooden lock I can use that or then we can self press that or our our assistant can press this brake pedal and then we start to press that brake pedal and in and when we press that something like 10 times we go to look this our brake caliper system next back okay and then there is coming something here bubbles and it is good thing because now I need to go to press this brake pedal more and and let's look that how much there comes this air. I go to press brake pedal again and how what is the coming? Okay now brake wood is coming good. This is good si signal. so nicely and now when there is this brake fluid in this uh, this pipe I can I can notice that now this my bleeding works well and then I can do so that I can think that now this brake caliper is almost okay and I can fasten that bleeding bolt in here this bolt bolt using my tool. Now it seems to be a little bit difficult but there is idea that I I fasten that and, and if there is no coming this air bubbles and this fluid we can 
open this this bolt and close so much that there is coming something. This is like when we do that little bit, then it is easy to handle. And now it seems that this my I need to change this my socket position. But this is fine, and then we go to bleed next caliber. Okay, and now I am bleed bleeding this next next break caliber, and it's to bleed. It is good to bleed all of those calipers what we have been open and of course if we have time we can bleed all of those four brake calipers and now this bleeding is end and this job is also end and now my brake calipers works well and thank you for watching that video and have a nice day to you